MC event on September 21st with two cities, New Haven, Connecticut, USA, and Villan, Poland. I'm going to switch now to uh, the stage in New Haven, Connecticut at the Cooperative Arts High School, and then they'll start their program. Dear Mr. Di Stefano, dear Mr. Mayo, dear friends, we feel honored that we have the opportunity to participate in this special event, which is the International Day of Peace. The idea of this day is to strengthen and commemorate to the idea to the idea of peace and to renounce the violence, conflict and, and hostility. Those aims and values that we support with all our hearts are especially dear to us, the uh, inhabitants of Ville in the town of peace and reconciliation, the town which dramatic events taking place 73 years ago gave rise to the Second World War. We belong to the generation that knows the sad history of our town and country, that we feel uh, responsible for cultivating the idea of peace and reconciliation. We know that it's up to us what the world will look like in the future, and we know that we want to live a beautiful life in peace. That's why we are happy, very happy now, uh, that we are here celebrating this day with you. First, we would like to introduce Mr. Janusz Pamuła, who is representing the town council in Wielen. Szanowni Państwo, organizatorzy i uczestnicy obchodów Międzynarodowego Dnia Pokoju na całym świecie. Droga młodzieży, ogromnie cieszę się, że wspólnie obchodzimy Międzynarodowy Dzień Pokoju, który ma uzmysłowić nam wszystkim, jakim skarbem jest życie i praca w warunkach niezagrożonych konfliktami zbrojnymi. Nie wszyscy w obecnych czasach mają to szczęście, są miejsca na świecie, gdzie zaczyna wrzeć, gdzie zamiast śmiechu dzieci słychać szczęk, karabinów i wybuchy bomb. Dlatego tak ważne są obchody Międzynarodowego Dnia Pokoju, jednoczące przede wszystkim ludzi młodych, którzy będą wkrótce decydować o losach Europy i świata. Ladies and gentlemen, the organizers and participants of the International Day of Peace in the whole world, dear students, I am extremely happy that we are celebrating the International Day of Peace together, the day that is supposed to make us aware of the fact what a treasure we possess, living and working in conditions not threatened by any armed conflict. Not everyone in these days is equally lucky. There are places in the world where it is beginning to rage, where instead of children's laughter, one can hear riffles and blood and bomb explosions. Uh, that is why the celebration of the International Day of Peace is so significant as it uh, unites all young people who will soon make decisions about the future of Europe and the whole world. Czasami wbrew obowiązującym opiniom i pozorom bardzo dużo znaczy od samego człowieka, a dokładnie od jego człowieczeństwa. Wielu wiele wycierpiał w swej historii. To tu dokonała się pierwsza zbrodnia ludobójstwa w okresie II wojny światowej. To tu miało miejsce preludium do tragedii, jaka rozegrała się na następnie w wielu miastach na całym świecie. Mimo początkowego chaosu i paniki w Wieluniu, pozostali ludzie, którzy po przeżyciu koszmaru wojny pieczołowicie odbudowywali miasto i czynią je pięknym do dzisiaj bo to w ludziach jest siła potrafiąca zmienić świat na lepsze. Taka je, siła jest w was, młodych, to dla, do was należy budowanie przyszłości w duchu pokoju i pojednania. Bądźcie ambasadorami dobrej nowiny i drogowskazami dla swojego pokolenia. Contrary to prevailing opinions, a lot depends on the very human being and especially on their humanity. Vilna has suffered a lot in its history. It was here where the first crime of genocide, the Second World War, uh, was committed. The prelude to the tragedy, the spread to the other towns and cities in the whole world took place here. 
In spite of the initial chaos and panic, there were still some people in Vienna who, uh, who having survived the drama of war, carefully reconstructed the town. And they still make it beautiful today, as it is the people who have the power to change the world for the better. This power... This power is also in you, young people. It is up to you to build the future in peace and reconciliation. Be the champions of good news and the, the same post for your generation. Wielu mi wyciąga rękę do wszystkich tych, którzy są gotowi ją podchwycić i uścisnąć w imię pokoju. Bo tylko wspólnie, poznając się i dając dobry przykład, możemy przełamać ksenofobię, rasizm i inne tego typu zjawiska, które są zarzewiem konfliktów. Wielen is reaching out to those who are ready to catch it and hold in the name of peace, as it is only through getting to know each other and setting a good example that we can overcome xenophobia, racism and other similar uh, phenomena which are sources of conflicts. Z okazji Międzynarodowego Dnia Pokoju życzę wszystkim na całym świecie, a w szczególności Wam, kochana młodzieży, byście uśmiechem witali każdy nowy dzień i z odwagą realizowali swoje marzenia w świecie wolnym od przemocy, gdzie króluje pokój i miłość. On the occasion of the International Day of Peace, I wish everyone in the whole world, and especially you, their young friends, to greet every day with a smile and to make your dreams come true, uh, with courage in the world, free of violence, where peace and love reign. Now we would like to introduce Professor Tadeusz Olejnik, a historian who has paid a lot of attention to the region of Wielen and the issues of the Second World War, and to whom the idea of peace and reconciliation is especially important. Teraz chcielibyśmy przedstawić pana profesora Tadeusza Olejnika, historyka, który sporą część swojej pracy naukowej poświęcił regionowi wieluńskiemu i problematyce II wojny światowej i któremu idea pokoju i pojednania jest szczególnie bliska. Z tego powodu, że Wieluń był pierwszą ofiarą rozpętanej przez Hitlerys II wojny światowej, że tu padły pierwsze jej ofiary, którymi byli chorzy ze szpitala pod wezwaniem wszystkich świętych, naszemu miastu przypada szczególna rola w promowaniu idei, pokoju i pojednania między narodami. Do, uh, do the fact that Wilhelm was the first victim of the Second World War that was started by German rule by Adolf Hitler, Hitler and the fact that the first civilian casualties, that is the patients of all Saint Hospital, were killed here, an extremely important role in promoting the idea of peace and reconciliation among nations fall to our town. We, that is contemporary teenagers, know the dramatic events of the Second World War only from the history lessons and from our grandparents, whereas you were the eyewitness of those events and your attainments provide an excellent source of knowledge about those days. Now, współczesnej młodzieży, wydarzenia II wojny światowej są znane jedynie z lekcji historii i opowiadań naszych dziadków. Natomiast pan był ich naucznym świadkiem, a pański dorobek naukowy jest dla nas doskonałym źródłem wiedzy o tamtych czasach. Należy do pokolenia, które przeżyło koszmar II wojny światowej. Na własne oczy oglądałem porący wieluń, ale byłem też świadkiem tragedii takich m.in. niemieckich miast jak Magdeburg i Dresno. I belong to the generation that experienced the cruelty of that war. Not only did I see Vilhelm in flames with my own eyes, but also tragedies of German cities, Dresden and Magdeburg. Swymi przeżyciami z owych tragicznych dni II wojny światowej dzielę się nie tylko z młodzieżą gimnazjalną, ale także z przedstawicielami społeczeństw międzynarodowych. Jako historyk badam dzieje II wojny światowej 
publikuje książki, których celem jest dokumentowanie tych tragicznych wydarzeń, jakie miały miejsce w latach II wojny światowej. Dzielę się nie tylko z lokalną społecznością wieluńską, ale także ze społecznością międzynarodową. Przykładem tego jest m.in. książka Wieluń, Polska Gernika, wydana nie tylko w wersji polskojęzycznej, ale także angielskiej i niemieckiej. I share my experiences from those tragic years of war not only with the students at school, but also with the international community. I, as a historian, I publish books whose task is to document those tragic years, to make closer the extent of human tragedy, not only of the whole country, but also of our region. My book entitled Wielen, Polish Guernica, which is also published in German, provides a good example of it. In what way does Wieluń carry out its mission as one of the peace messenger cities? W jaki sposób Wieluń realizuje swoje zadanie jako jedno z miast orędowników pokoju? Wieluń należy do Międzynarodowego Stowarzyszenia Miast Orędowników Pokoju. Przy wjeździe do naszego miasta widzimy tablice, na których widzimy napis Wieluń miastem pokoju i pojednania. Wieluń belongs to the International Association of Peace Messenger Cities. On arriving in Wieluń, you can see board saying Wieluń, the town of peace and reconciliation. Realizując to szczytne hasło pojednania między narodami, Wieluń współpracuje z różnymi miastami, nie tylko w skali europejskiej, ale także ogólnoświatowej. Tutaj zapraszamy młodzież, która przybywa na spotkania, na konferencje, uroczystości organizowane, organizowane w Wieluniu i nawiązywane są przyjaźnie, przyjaźnie, a nawet powiedziałbym szczere sympatie między młodzieżą polską a młodzieżą innych krajów. Zapraszamy młodzież między innymi z takich krajów jak Izrael, Niemcy, Wielka Brytania, Irlandia i szereg innych państw. While fulfilling the mission that falls on Wieluń in promoting peace and reconciliation among nations, we invite young people from Germany, Israel, Ireland, Great Britain and other countries to our town for anniversary celebrations. The contacts that are established serve not only getting to know each other but also to make friends, since it is only through international relations that we can fight prejudices and stereotypes. W Wieluniu organizujemy również konferencje międzynarodowe, konferencje poświęcone problematyce budowania otwartych miast w okresie II wojny światowej. Na te konferencje zapraszamy również przedstawicieli nie tylko społeczeństw europejskich, ale z całego świata, między innymi z Niemiec, Wielkiej Brytanii, Irlandii, Rosji, Chorwacji, Białorusi, a nawet, nawet Japonii. Celem tej konferencji jest przede wszystkim ukazanie tragedii, jakich doznał świat, jak doznawały miasta podobne, podobne do Wirunia. We also organize international conferences devoted to the tragedy of cities born during the Second World War. The representatives from Germany, Great Britain, Russia, Ireland, Spain, Japan and other countries take part in those conferences. As the history of Poland and Germany shows, our relations were mostly unfriendly, not to say hostile, and the Second World War has left a lot of unhealed wounds between our nations. Jak pokazuje historia, stosunki polsko-niemieckie były przeważnie nieprzyjazne, a wręcz wrogie, a między naszymi narodami pozostało wiele niezabliźnionych ram. Dla idei pokoju i pojedania między narodami, nie tylko w skali europejskiej, ale światowej, Niezmiernie ważne znaczenie ma pojednanie polsko-niemieckie. W tym zakresie już wiele uczyniono. Nasze miasto, podobnie jak wiele innych miast polskich, nawiązało kontakty partnerskie z miastami niemieckimi. Tutaj zapraszana jest przede wszystkim młodzież z Niemiec, 
uczestniczyła ona w różnego rodzaju spotkaniach, konferencjach, w imprezach sportowych, rekreacyjnych i, i towarzyskich. Celem tych spotkań jest przede wszystkim nawiązywanie przyjaźni, wzajemne poznanie, a przez to unikanie tych niezbyt szczęśliwych zdarzeń, jakie miały miejsce w okresie wojny i okupacji, okupacji hitlerowskiej. Polish German reconciliation is extremely significant in promoting the idea of peace in Europe and in the world. A lot has been done in this field. Wien, just like many other Polish towns, has established partner relationships with the German towns. The relation between school children, where children play an important role, they cooperate together in the field of culture, sport, or recreation. In this way, the watchword Wien, the town of peace and, recon and reconciliation, is given a realistic meaning and put into effect. Do promowania idei pokoju i pojedania między narodami, jak powiedziałem, ważne jest też porozumienie polsko-niemieckie, polsko ale przede wszystkim intelektualnym przesłaniem Wielunian do społeczności międzynarodowej jest idea, która narodziła się tutaj w naszym mieście w Wieluniu, którym jest intelektualne przesłanie do społeczności międzynarodowej zawierające się w tym, że w centrum naszego miasta, w jego sercu, powstanie monument. Dzieło plastyczne w formie rzeźby, której autorem jest znakomity wielunianin mieszkający pod Paryżem, artysta plastyk Wojtek, Wojtek Siódmak. The intellectual message of Wien inhabitants for other nations and countries that contains the aspiration for solidarity nations and keeping peace and reconciliation among nations will be the monument erected in the town city center. It will symbolize the order, harmony of the universe and the idea of peace and will be a sculpture by an outstanding artist, Wojciech Schudmak comes from Wielun, but now lives near Paris. Dziękujemy panu profesorowi. Thank you, professor. Świat, gdzie jeszcze wciąż mieści się wiele zła i dziwne jest to, że od tylu lat człowiekiem gardzi człowiek. Dziwny ten świat, świat ludzkich spraw. Często nasz wstyd przyznać się, a jednak często jest, że ktoś słowem złym zabija, tak jak nożem. Lecz ludzi dobrej woli jest więcej i mocno wierzę w to, że ten świat nie zginie nigdy dzięki nim. Nie, 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 nie. Przyszedł już czas, najbliższy czas nienawiść. Zniszczyć w sobie
Lecz ludzi dobrej woli jest więcej I mocno wierzę w to, że ten świat Nie skryje nigdy dzięki nim Nie, 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 nie Przyszedł już czas Najbliższy czas Nienawiść Zniszczyć w sobie Now we would like to say how we, the young citizens of Poland, perceive the whole idea of peace. Wielen and its inhabitants provide an example of drama based on hatred and violence. And it was our town that received the first bombs dropped by the German Luftwaffe, which foreshadowed the outbreak of the most terrible war in the human history. For 73 years, on the 1st September, we've been commemorating the, the anniversary of those dreadful events. Mm, in the early morning of uh, September 1939, all dwellers of Vilna were peacefully asleep, not expecting that about 4.40 their houses would be bombed. For us, it is impossible to imagine the horror of that day. Horrified people rushed out to the streets of the town. One could hear people screaming and shouting for help by the injured ones. At the same time, the German bombers were flying above the town, dropping bombs on those who were trying to escape. As a result of this first attack, about 1,200 people were killed, including the patients of the local hospital, despite a clear marking visible from the air. About 75% of the town was destroyed, including the church, the synagogue, and the monastery. 73 years ago, our town wasn't a significant strategic point on the map of Poland because there were no military units stationed here. Therefore, we may conclude that the attack on defenseless Wieland was a typical act of terrorism. September the 1st is also the day when the school year starts in Poland, we are very lucky that every day on that, uh, yeah, we can every. Mm, uh, we are very lucky that every year on that day we can wake up in a safe and free country where we feel no threats in a quiet and peaceful town, and go to the school to meet our teachers and friends and share our holiday memories. Our peers from 1939 did not have such a chance. That's why it is our responsibility to retain the memory of those events, to make the future generations aware of the tragic history of our town and country. Uh, but what's the most important, to have the idea of peace in our heads, so that the tragedy of a world war never happens again. The memory of September 1939 is a warning about the uh, consequences of the totalitarianism. For us, it's a very important element of our national identity. Let's bear the past in our minds. But, what, but what's the most important? We must remember... Uh, yeah, the future is the most important. Let's build the common future. A future of peace and reconciliation. Thank you. 
students are going to tell you what peace means to them. Peace is the ability to understand, tolerate and accept each other. It is also that uh, the serenity that doesn't cause any riots and builds harmony among people. Peace means no violence, no persecution, no armed uh, conflict. Peace is neutrality, freedom, independence. For me, peace is forgiving instead other people instead of fighting with them. If we want to build peace, we need to understand other people and approach them gently and with love. There is no way to peace. Peace is the way. Peace in the world begins with peace in our hearts. Each word and each gesture that means forgiveness carry peace. Peace is not something we want, but something we do, we create. It is something that we are and something that we give away. Peace today is our future tomorrow. No more aggression in the streets, no more violence against others. Let's protect the weak ones, let's live in harmony, let's not be indifferent, let's help those in need. Oh, 
Thank you very, very much with being with us. Um, welcome, everyone. Let's give Vilan another round of applause. Good morning, everyone. Genople, everyone. That's Polish for good morning. I am Brandy Marks. And I am Jordan Ransom, and we are seniors from James Hill House High School. We would like to welcome you to the International Day of Peace program inside the Co-op Theater in New Haven, Connecticut. Each year, International Day of Peace is observed around the world on the 21st of September. The General Assembly of the United Nations has declared this day devoted to strengthening the ideals of peace, both within and among nations and peoples. This peace quilt you see on the screen today is presented by John Martinez Middle School. We would like to thank Principal Sequela Coleman and the students and family of John Martinez 
for the generous contribution for today's international celebration. Let's give him a round of applause for my, John Martinez. Now, we would like to introduce the superintendent of New Haven Public Schools, Dr. Reginald Mayo. Yes, Dr. Rio. <laughs> Good morning, students, and certainly a very special welcome to the children of Veal and Poland. Uh, certainly we're honored and happy to have them with us this morning from way on the other side of the world, certainly to join you in a shared mission for world peace. We certainly welcome and are uh, lucky in New Haven to have such a strong and passionate peace group of advocates. Um, some of those individuals are here. Want Al, you raise your hand along with the other individuals. That's the gentleman who is mainly responsible for this next year. He's already planning on your communicating with children from around the world, not just seeing them, but communicating with them. Al, we certainly wish you luck on that, and thanks for all that you've done to bring this program to us today. Look on the back of your program, there are about many individuals from New Haven Board of Ed, the tech department, that have been instrumental in making this program a success. We want to say thanks to Brandon to Ransom. These are seniors at Hill House High School for the job that they're doing. Give them a hand. There is no nobler calling than peace. When we strive for peace and respect in our schools and our neighborhoods, it sets an example for the whole world and sends a message that we can achieve peace between countries and different cultures. So on this International Day of Peace, we remember the lives lost to war and fighting, and we look to the future with hope that we can one day have peace on earth. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Dr. Mayo. And now we will introduce Beecher School, introducing the eighth grade performers. Excuse me. We will now introduce Beecher School. Thank you. sung in Hebrew, the, the English translation roughly is this, from the dawn till setting sun, everyone finds work to be done. From the dawn till night does come, there's a task for everyone. Pioneers, all work is one, work is one, all pioneers. Peace shall be for all the world, all the world shall be for peace.
may know, it's called If I Had a Hammer. After we've sung the first verse, if you know the song, please join us. Thank you, Beecher School, for those lovely songs. <laughs> Let's give it a round of applause for Beecher School. <laughs> and now we would like to introduce the eighth grade performers of Fairhaven School. Peace. To 
pimps and abusers. Don't yell, some potel. Spread peace like a prayer. We all the forces to make for a better world. No one is so powerful as peace. With peace, one can work, one can think, one can dream. If you have peace, you have everything. Today, violence is our language, but we can stop it with peace. Take violence far, far away from our cities. Imagine how many people die every day. Please don't tell them much violence. Imagine a world full of peace. Please do not quit school. Thank you, Fairhaven, for that amazing performance. Give them a round of applause. We will now introduce Bessie Rose Arts Magnet School with a dance to the music, See the Flame.
Thank you, Betsy Ross Madness School. Let's give them a round of applause. And now, representing John C. Daniels School, two eighth graders are now performing a rap for peace. You're 
It's not too well to be with the world of skin. You're all a homicide. You're not getting invited to the skin. So we must become non-violent. Non-violent means not only avoiding external physical violence, but also violence for the spirit. You not only refuse to shoot a man, but you refuse to hate him. Hate this will turn the person good to bad. So let's face the problem. We give it all we have. It will take time and courage. Death and the talent is back to end. To say, we can set that last. Finally, we have the Co-op Arts and Humanities High School Choral Ensemble singing for the sake of our children. to them with your loving arms. May your angels guide and protect them, we pray.
Wow, that was amazing. We would like to thank everyone for participating in today's in the great celebration of peace. Uh, and now it's time for the buses. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, we would like to ask everybody to remain seated and for all the students to not leave their their Menus, not menus, what is it? Their, their cars, and uh, not on the floors. And uh, programs, that's the word, programs. Uh, we will list every school in order, so please remain seated. Uh, first, we have Fairhaven. We would please. Go to the right, to the exit, thank you. My right, your left. 